Okay, hello everyone in a new video. In this one we are going to solve an exercise related to electricity in the chapters of DC voltage and resistors. This exercise was a previous one in the previous exams in 2017 first session exercise number two. The title of this exercise is normal functioning of a lamp. Consider a lamp L carrying the inscriptions 9V 0.3 amperes and a dry cell of constant voltage UPN. Here we have a lamp L. carrying the following inscriptions, 9 volt and 0 0.3 amperes. L acts as a, resist as a resistor, which means ohmic conductor of resistance RL. Then the lamp L can be considered as a resistor of resistance RL. Here RL is not given. In order to function normally, uh -huh, the lamp L is functioning normally, uh, it's connected in series with a resistor R of resistance R. Uh, document 2. So they mentioned document 2. Now we can use this document. They are telling me that the lamp L is functioning normally. Then the applied voltage is equal to the rated voltage, which is given by 9 volts. So always the trick in solving such type of exercises is to write the applied voltage and the traverse current on the electric circuit itself. Here we are writing the rated voltage on the electric circuit because they are telling me that the lamp L is functioning normally. Moreover, the lamp L carries another indication, which is the rated current. Because it's functioning normally, then the traverse current across the lamp L is equal to the rated current, which is given by 0 0.3 amperes. Now, number one, they are telling me what does each of the inscriptions carried by R represent? So what does 9 volt and 0 0.3 amperes represent? So 9 volts, volts is the unit of voltage, so it is the rated voltage. Of the lamp L. Under which. It functions normally. And as for 0 0.3 amperes, amperes is the unit of electric current, so it is the rated current. Of the lamp L. Under which. It functions normally. Now in number 2 they are telling me determine RL. Here RL represents the resistance of the lamp L. Because uh, they told me that the lamp L is functioning normally. So now we can use the rated voltage and the rated current. Which are labeled here on the electric circuit. Moreover, uh, also if they didn't mention that the lamp L is not functioning normally. We can determine RL using the rated uh, or the inscriptions. Because we are calculating the resistance. Then let's say. Uh, apply Ohm's law to L. Always in physics we need to mention the law that we are using. So we can determine the resistance uh, whenever we have the voltage and the current using Ohm's law. And this is given by U is equal to R multiplied by I. Constructing the triangle of this formula. So we have U at the top because we have multiply. And R and I at the bottom. We are interested in calculating the value of R. So putting our hand over R. Uh, the resistance R is denoted by RL. Which is equal to U divided by I. Then 9 divided by 0 0.3. Plugging this on the calculator will give me 30. Since the voltage is in the SI and the electric current is in the SI, so the value of RL will be in the SI, 30 ohms. Then RL is equal to 30 ohms. Then now we know the resistance of the lamp L. Now in number 3 they are telling me show that the current passing through R is I is equal to 0 0.3 amperes. They are, they are asking me about the electric current traversing the resistor R. So 
now we know that uh, the current traversing the lamp L is 0 0.3 amperes because the lamp L is functioning normally and because the lamp L and the resistor R are in series so they are traversed by the same current first let's justify that uh, the traverse current through the lamp L is given by 0 0.3 amperes because it's functioning normally since the lamp L is functioning normally then the traverse current is equal to the rated current of the lamp L So now we know that the current traversing the lamp L is given by 0 0.3 amperes. But notice that in the question they are telling me show that the current passing through R is I is equal to 0 0.3 amperes. They are, they are asking me about the current across this electric component, the resistor, and not the lamp. But now because they are in series, so L and R are in series. Then they are traversed by the same current and this is given by law of uniqueness of currents according they have the same current which is I is equal to 0 0.3 amperes. So now we know also that the current across the resistor R is given by 0 0.3 amperes. Now a number 4 they are telling me using the law of addition of voltages calculate the voltage UBC across R knowing that UPN is equal to 12 volts. Uh, we know the voltage across the battery to be 12 volts and we know the voltage across the lamp to be 9 volts because it's functioning normally. Then we can determine the voltage UBC across R using law of addition of voltages. Let me make some space here. Then we are in part 4. Apply. Then how do we apply this law? Always on the left we write the voltage of the battery. In this case it's given by UPN. And on the right, on the other side we write the voltages across different electric components starting from P and ending with N, making sure that the voltage that we want to calculate is UBC will appear in the equation. Then from P we'll go to the point A, plus from A to the point B, from P to the point C, so this is the voltage that we want to calculate, plus from C back to the point N. Now UPN is equal to 12 given. Now UPA, across P and A we have a connecting wire, so UPA is equal to 0. We didn't justify this previously, so here between the brackets, UPA is equal to 0, and the reason is given by connecting wire. Now UAB is equal to 9 because the lamp L is functioning normally. UBC that we want to calculate and UCN is 0 because across C and N we have a connecting wire. Let's justify here between the brackets that UCN is equal to 0. Connecting wire. Now 12 is equal to 9 plus UBC. Then the type of this equation is a linear equation and one unknown, which is UBC. So UBC is equal to 12 minus 9, which is equal to 3. 12 is in volts and 9 is in volts, so the value of UBC will be in volts. UBC is equal to 3 volts. 
So we have determined UVC is equal to 3 volts. Let's label it on the electric circuit here. Finally, in part 5, they are telling me to use R. R represents the resistance of this electric component across B and C. Uh, they told me to use, which means that we need to use the part just previously before. In part 4, we have determined the voltage across R, and we already know the electric current traversing it. Then we can determine the value of R using Ohm's law, then apply Ohm's law to R. And this law is given by U is equal to R multiplied by I. Constructing the triangle of this formula, U at the top, R and I at the bottom, we are interested in calculating the value of R. Putting our hand over R will give us U divided by I. Uh, the voltage is labeled by UBC. Then the voltage is given by 3 divided by the, the current traversing the resistor R, which is 0 0.3. Plugging this fraction on the calculator will give us then, since u is in the SI and the value of i is in the SI, so the value of r will be in the SI, which is ohms. Then r is equal to 10 ohms. And by this we have finished solving this exercise. Hope it was beneficial for you guys out there watching it, and see you soon in another one.